Good morning, Great Danes. This is Sarah van Grinnen, a.k.a. Mr. VG. And man, I'm excited to be here with you to do a video on the basics of trigonometry. So in today's video, we are going to look at the basics, those small little things that is very, very important about trigonometry for the next three years of your life. This video will serve as a basic for all the rest of the chapter coming up, but also for grade 11, grade 12, because trigonometry is very important. I mean, in the metric second paper where it will be, it's the one chapter that actually counts the most. So please pay attention. So let's start with the basics of trigonometry. So when we look at trigonometry, it's important to understand that it is all about triangles. It is all about triangles. But the interesting thing about where trigonometry comes from is that there's a very direct relationship with circles. I'm not going to go into that, but it's just something that maybe will prickle, you know, just prickle you a little bit to go and do some extra research. Hey, it's awesome to know all of these extra little things. So let's quickly have a look at one of the most important things for us for this year is that we have to work in a 90 degree triangle. So a right angled triangle, we have to. If there's no 90 degree triangle, well, then we're not going to work in it this year. Only in grade 11 will we throw away the 90 degree and then we have three basic rules that will come into play, but that's next year. So please always understand we're going back to a right angled triangle. So if we have a right angle triangle like that and we label it A, B and C and we take A as being our vantage point, in other words, the angle from which we are looking, a very important thing for us is going to be our labels. I'm choosing A to be angle X and B to be angle Y. So our labels are going to always be opposite adjacent and then the hypotenuse now when you look at the hypotenuse that's kind of our starting point so our hypotenuse is always going to be opposite the 90 degrees no matter how you turn the triangle it will always be opposite the 90 degrees but the opposite and the adjacent depends on which angle you look from so for instance if we look from angle a the adjacent will be the angle right next to that angle A. And then the opposite will be the side opposite that angle A or that little X. But if we look from Y, then the adjacent is, angle, or is side BC and the opposite is side A because it is opposite that angle. Mm -hmm. That is very important. So please get this, grade tens. Opposite and adjacent is always dependent on which angle you look from. But enough about that. Let's get on to now some very important things like practicing. Let's look at that X, that triangle. I want you to think, how do I label it? How would I label this? Well, I would start by saying the hypotenuse is opposite the 90 degrees, the A is the horizontal side and the O is the vertical side in this case because I'm looking from angle X. Now, if I look at this triangle, now I put that looking from that vantage point at the top. You quickly think, where would the hypotenuse, the opposite and the adjacent be? Well, the opposite is going to be now your flat or your horizontal side. Your adjacent will be your vertical side and the hypotenuse will still be opposite the 90 degrees. Now that is even true if I flip the triangle like that where I've got my 90 degree at the bottom now by C. Where is going to be my hypotenuse? Well, it's going to be opposite my 90 degrees. 
my adjacent will now be that left side AC and the opposite will be BC. Why do I need this? Why do I need opposite adjacent and hypotenuse? Well, the simple reason is it is important for trigonometry. We are going to define our three basic trig functions, our sine, cosine, and tangent, by using Sokotoa. So in other words, your sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos of that angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan of that angle is opposite over adjacent. Understand? These are relationships. They are ratios to each other. So, without talking too much further, let's look at an example. Say I've got a angle ABC or triangle ABC. If I look from angle A, first of all, I'm going to label the sides. So, there's my hypotenuse. Next to that A is going to be my adjacent. And then there's going to be my opposite, the vertical side. If I now ask you, what is the value of sine of A? In other words, the ratio. Which sides am I relating to one another? Well, opposite over hypotenuse. So in other words, it's the ratio that exists between BC and AC. Simple and as easy as that. What about cos of angle A? Well, that's adjacent over hypotenuse. And that is going to be the ratio that exists between AB over AC. As simple, as easy as that. Now you might go and say, but wait, sir, where is this going? Please stay tuned. In the next videos, I'm going to show you, you know what, where are we actually using this? Let's look at the last one, tan of angle A. Well, tan is opposite over adjacent. So in other words, it's going to be BC over AB. Simple and as easy as that. That is what this video is about, introducing you to these interesting concepts. Now let's have a look at one little example. If I take this triangle and I ask you, what is the value of sine of M? Where do I start? First of all, label the sides. If I label the sides, you quickly do it. Well, the 13 is going to be the hypotenuse. The 12 is going to be my adjacent. And the 5 is going to be my opposite because M is our vantage point. So in other words, after labeling it, I go back to Sokotoa now. I love going back to Sokotoa every time. And you'll see I go there in all of the videos over and over and over again. Sokotoa, sine of M is opposite over hypotenuse. So it's KR over KM, which is 5 over 13. What does it mean? Please don't worry about that at the moment. For this video, we are just looking at the ratios. We are just looking at the, you know, that you can do sine of M, cos of M, tan of M, for instance. Now, something that I haven't mentioned is that there's a, remember, there's a very important theorem that we're going to use a lot. Because you're working in a 90 degree, I'm going to work with Pythagoras, the theorem of Pythagoras, but more about that in the next coming videos. This is Sado van Grenen, aka Mr. VG, signing out. Have a beautiful and wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.